Thank you, everybody. So um, fantastic panel. They did actually a lot of the heavy lifting for me. Um, I hear exactly these kinds of challenges every day. These are exactly the things that we're hearing. Um, so Charterpad, for those that aren't aware or familiar who we are, uh, we are an online uh, platform for part 135 operators and brokers, the source aircraft. Um, some would say we're part of the problem. Um, we are not a booking tool, we are a sourcing tool. Um, just on my way in actually to here, I was asked, what do you do? I told them what I do, and they said, well, the problem is that the uh, broker is doing this, this, and that. I'm like, awesome. Um, the operator says, uh, the broker asked for too many requests. The broker says the operator doesn't show the right availability, the right pricing. This seems to be the ongoing problem. Um, I can't say I disagree with most of the things that I've been hearing. For the last 10 years, it's been a lot of the same things that we're hearing up on stage here. Questions were fantastic. It's a lot of the same challenges. What are the challenges? It's the fragmentation of the industry. It's uh, everyone having to come together, work together. Um, it's about the op side working with the front end sales. A lot of our uh, tools um, are providing a sales tool, a marketing tool to get out there, get your aircraft, whether it's availability, whether it's pricing. Uh, but there's the other challenges. I think some of the operators here will tell you. Um, you get a request in that you maybe have uh, pricing and they think that they can do in the next three or four days, uh, but you need an overflight permit in a country that that's just not going to happen. Um, that flight's not gonna happen or you're gonna have to change the route, it's gonna change the pricing and there's gonna be a lot of challenges to it. Um, this is not so simple. We can go to Amazon, we can go to Airbnb, we can go to Expedia, booking.com, it's so simple, right? I can go ahead, I can see a pricing, I can even get notifications and alerts for a hot deal. Um, why is it that everything else in the consumer markets is so much easier? Uh, this is not so easy. Um, even the airlines have sort of adapted, but it's scheduled uh, inventory. This is not. This is on-demand inventory. Uh, I, my American Airlines flight to uh, go back home, I'm going to get notifications for it. It's going to tell me if there's going to be a flight delay. Um, I could have booked my uh, seat. I could even choose my meal if it was uh, a level of service that's necessary. This is not so simple. Uh, not every uh, customer is the same. I've heard the question that not every two flights is the same, even if it's the same route. Uh, it's not the same aircraft, not the same customer. The needs are going to be different. Um, there's absolutely going to be a need for some human interaction. Um, Alistair mentioned it, uh, Charterpad. Uh, we were acquired by Click Aviation in December. Click Aviation is a trip support uh, aviation services company. The idea is to build an end-to-end -end ecosystem. Um, we're not trying to actually disrupt. When you look at what digital disruption is, there's no uh, definition in Webster's or anything like that. Uh, it's believed technologies uh, change in the way that industries and businesses operate. Uh, that's what Amazon did. They changed the way that people uh, purchase uh, retail. It's an easy thing. I don't know how many people in here are part of the 100 million uh, Amazon Prime members. I know I'm one of those. Um, any, hands, hands, Amazon Prime, anybody? Look at this, fantastic. <laughs> See, it's going to be interactive. It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> you're not going to just hear me talk the whole time. Uh, streaming services. Netflix, Hulu, anybody, anybody? Kids, you got to have teenagers. Come on, guys. Yeah. I mean, nobody's interested in actually going and spending. I mean, I have small children. Uh, they watch Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. I unfortunately have to spend over $1,000 a year in cable so they can watch this stuff. I don't even watch. I watch ESPN. I wish that's all I could do. Um, you know. The, the issue becomes, how do we bring this all together? Um, our goal is to bring it together. Uh, Click Aviation Network um, has the expertise, they have the AI, they have the intelligence on the op side. Um, we've been able to do a nice job, domestic US, about providing um, a trip matching tool. Uh, not just something that's a reactive system, something more proactive, you taking control. Um, the idea is that I don't want this to disrupt, because the idea is disruption. We keep talking about disruption, when the idea should be more about the digital transformation. I mean, 15, 20 years ago, some of you know, there was almost absolutely no technology. It was the phone book or the yellow book, uh, you know, faxing quotes, faxing, uh, you know, uh, booking the charter, all this fun stuff. Um, we had Virgin Charter, spent $30 million, two years, goes complete. Um, but there was a, a group that came in. There was a B2B platform that came in some 15 to 20 years ago. Um, continues to span the test of time, if you will. 
um, but continue to find the same issues. It's still not a booking platform. It's still a request for quote type of system. Um, maybe nothing wrong with it, but it's still causing issues. It's causing inefficiencies because now you're getting more requests, more requests, more requests. You're quoting, you're quoting, you're quoting. Are you actually booking? Are the ratios uh, worth the time and the efficiency that's taking? Um, we want to create something more dynamic. We want to create something that's more end-to-end. -end. That's our goal. Our goal is that you should be able to get a notification on your phone. Why can't you work with your owners for owner approval? Um, shouldn't the owner be more involved with some of this stuff as well? Shouldn't you have a little bit more control being able to let them know, hey, this trip can go off. You don't want to just say, we can do this trip. I need to get owner approval. Um, we want to build enough intelligence where we work with Paolo and we want to get all those touch points. And that's part of the problem, it's the touch points. There's so many touch points in Charter. I mean, everything that was discussed here is exactly the challenges. Um, will there be a <laughs> revolution? I think that was the question, right? Revolution or evolution? I don't know if there's going to be a necessary revolution. Um, I think what we're doing is evolving. I think there's going to be a transformation. And that's what the original B2B platform did. They evolved. They transformed the industry. Um, I think being a complete uh, disruptor is very, very difficult. Um, we want to work with PrideFlight. We want to work with Luna Jets. We want to work with everybody. We want to find out what it is that you need. What tools do we need to provide to make this easier? What can we do to get your aircraft off the ground? How can we allow you to optimize your fleets, optimize in dealing with your clients? We've heard uh, some people over the last decade and it was touched on, right? Uh, you know, over $100 million has been raised on uh, you know, shuttles and seats, and we're going to uh, commoditize everybody, because everybody can get on a private jet, right? We used to hear that, oh, we're going to make it accessible to everybody. Um, it's simply not. These are not commodities. Um, the brokers can tell you that these are people that are going to need a higher level of service. They're going to be people that are going to need a little bit of hand-holding. Um, I think uh, you were asking uh, earlier about the millennials. Um, I think that was one of the questions. Well, they might like to have uh, an app to be able to just book all their stuff and don't want to talk to anybody. Um, and that's very possible as well. Uh, we need to provide all the tools. The tools need to be there for anybody that wants to just book something and not talk to anybody. Um, but we still need to have the ability for somebody to reach out. There's always going to be some sort of contact um, with Click Aviation, with their expertise on the FBO side and the ops side. Um, they do have feet on the ground. They have people in certain FBOs and certain airports. We want to be able to facilitate this, make this easier. That's the goal. In a few weeks' time, you'll see a newer release of Charterpad. Um, and over the course of the next year, you're going to start to see some of the services. You're going to start to see more involvement. You're going to see everything from notifications, everything from the different touch points being touched on. Um, for all the uh, people out here that have scheduling software, the Paolos of the world, uh, we plan to work with you. We plan to go ahead and we want to make something bigger and better. Uh, for the operators, brokers in the room, um, we're not looking to disrupt your business. Uh, we actually want everybody to be profitable. Uh, we want to make money too. We want to make money together. It's about building a network, building an ecosystem. When you look at all the technology, it feels like it's going down one avenue, right? Um, this is what I do. This is how we're going to make money. And this is how we're going to help you uh, to be better. They're telling you how you can optimize. They're telling you how you can work because apparently we know better. Um, I don't know better. I've never booked a charter flight in my life, um, speaking candidly. And I think many of the people in my space will agree they've never done it either. So how are we going to tell you how to go about doing it? Um, but we can listen to you. We can do what it is that you need to do. Uh, we can bring this together. That's the idea. Uh, it's about an ecosystem. And I think it's about cooperation, because that's the big problem. I was looking at all these questions, um, and it all stems around cooperation. It's about how can we work with FBOs? How can we work with the regulators? How can we work with a broker and operator? How can this all be brought together? Um, I guess I'm tired of being told that I'm part of the problem. <laughs> so that's, uh, that, that, that's the solution. Um, you know, I think that the you know, Click and, and Charter had a very similar vision. The vision was about being, uh, being an ecosystem, being a touch one. We don't want to replace anybody. We're not here to disrupt anybody. We want to transform the industry. We want to make it a place where we all can work together, uh, maybe kumbaya together. Everybody can make some money. Uh, but it has to be simpler. It has to be easier. There is technology that can be used. Um, I think you were mentioning something about the chat, uh, right? Uh, hell, if, if a chat's an easy way to communicate quickly, then maybe that's what needs to be done. Um, if less emails, whatever it's going to take, whatever everybody's going to need. If you need a vendor list of 
folks and you don't want to uh, get requests from certain brokers or you don't want to see certain trips and you shouldn't see those. It's about building something that's customized to you, something that works for you and something that's going to make you better and make you smarter. So um, yeah, like I said, these guys did a lot of the heavy lifting for me. So um, thank you guys for having me. Um, and we look forward to, uh, to building something bigger and better for everybody. We've got a question. Um, will digitizing the process, sorry, I'm switching, um, end negotiation on every charter? I don't think so. I, I think that there's always going to be as well. I mean, here's the problem, right? Um, the, the end user has become a little bit more savvy. Um, I think that we're underestimating the end user here. Um, I, I think JetSmarter has been good and bad in this. I think JetSmarter has. Uh, open the eyes of people and they've made people a little bit more uh, savvy of what they know and what they don't know. Um, but if you're an end user, you can go to three or four different brokers and request uh, the same trip and they're all trying to fight for the same trip. Uh, now the operator is starting to deal with all these people. So there always seems to be a little bit of a negotiation, even if there is a price, even if the price is correct, even if it's the, they're willing to do it. Um, is the operator really going to do it with uh, broker X as opposed to broker Y because of the ongoing relationship or the amount of hours they give them. I mean, let's be honest here. Um, this guy's given me uh, 50 hours. This one's giving me 150 hours. Uh, you know, am I going to give him the better deal or am I going to just give him the deal? Let's be honest here. It's just the reality of this. So I'm not sure if it's going to eliminate it completely. And will Charterpads integrate with Avanode? No, the, the, the beauty of this is we're willing to integrate with anybody. I guess the question is whether Avanode's willing to work with us. I think that's always been the question. Uh, we're always open to work with anybody and with any kind of system. So if uh, Scudero would like to integrate with us, uh, we'll be more than happy. They're the only ones that won't do it. Um, OK, any more questions, old-fashioned? If not, then thank you very much. Thank you. No, thank you, guys.